Hey guys, it's uh, Michael Chrysler again, First Choice Power Washing. I wanted to show you what we call a phenomena with using a surface cleaner. Is everybody wants to know why they're leaving lines on both sides. A lot of times it's simply an overlap where the surface cleaner did not clean properly the first time around. So when you come down the next, next line, you get an overlap. But it's inherent that these will always leave a nice line down both sides and we know what this is right here this is using the surface cleaner too fast but I did this to show you the inherent property in a surface cleaner basically as you see it's going round and round and round but if you go too fast it skips a spot well but you still also see down both edges it doesn't skip because that edge will always have that tip on it at all times and it overlaps it so as it's coming up through there it will always clean the edges better so if your surface cleaner is not optimized or you don't have very good flow you or you're not or you're going too fast you're always going to end up with those lines and even when it appears like your surface cleaner did do a good job and, and clean then when you come back and overlap you've still cleaned that a second time so if it wasn't cleaned the first time properly, you're gonna get that overlap. But this is one of the main reasons that you see this. Down both, both edges, you'll see that line is nice and clean. It's because that tip stayed on that surface longer and overlapped and kept, kept hitting it, making it cleaner than anything else. And the best way to show that is to just go too fast and you can still see, even going too fast, that the edges got clean where the center did not. Hope that helps with kind of understanding that principle where the, how the surface cleaner leaves those nice clean edges on the edge. But the best way to uh, keep from doing that basically is go slower or use a detergent. A lot of times, you know, that, that relying on straight pressure and water isn't going to clean it. So you're going to end up needing uh, a detergent. And a lot of times after we've cleaned, we see those lines ourselves. And then once we downstream some bleach, in, in this case with mold and mildew, it gets a, gives it an opportunity to get down in the pores of the concrete and actually cleans a little bit better. And you end up losing those uh, overlap marks. Hope that helps.